Um, I want to read a, a couple more little sections from your uh, journal to close this out. Here we go, back to the journal. So when I get asked by people, how could you fathom, let alone complete, running 31 marathons in 31 days, I give them the same simple answer, because I am a, a Marine. And my mission to fight for my fellow veterans has not changed. And when a Marine is on mission for his fellow Marines, he is capable of anything. Therefore, when people ask me, haven't you done enough, sacrificed enough, I remind them that not only do I have the capability to accomplish my mission, be proud of my Marine Corps heritage, stay faithful to my fellow Marines, and keep fighting, I have the responsibility. I have the responsibility to keep fighting for my country, my Corps, and my fellow veterans. So no, it will never be enough. The day that I have done enough will be the day that six Marines lower my body into my grave in Arlington Cemetery. And how can I do it? I do it because it is my duty. And to do my duty is my honor. In one last little passage I want to read from your journal. It says, I am merely a representative of what is possible for any veteran, any person. So as time passes, I do not want my name to be remembered. All I want to be remembered is the story. Years from now, when people speak about this, I want them to say, I remember that guy who ran all those marathons that one time. And their friend will, will reply, what was his name? And they will say, I don't remember, but he was a Marine. Well, Rob, I can tell you that uh, I got a feeling that you will be remembered and your name will be remembered and the way that you have represented the Marines and America and mankind will be remembered. and remembered and revered as well.